Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be looking at easy PS5 Platinums, all of which will have varying difficulties and completion times, but I will be providing plenty of information for each game featured in this video and trophy guides will be linked in the description. So without further ado, here are 10 easy Platinums on PS5. <laughs> Time to dive into the first game, which is Maneater. Maneater is basically an RPG where you play as a shark and cause havoc upon the humans around you. But all in all, it is a lot of fun to play. The difficulty is a 2 out of 10 and takes about 10 to 12 hours to platinum. Now there's something to sink your teeth into. Next up is Control, which is an action adventure game from 505 Games. Generally, the game is a 4 out of 10 for difficulty, but an update has made it easier. Thanks to various cheats, including enhanced aim assist, one hit kills, and immortality. So, I would perhaps say 2 out of 10 with cheats. The completion time for this game is roughly 15 to 18 hours. In third place is Dirt 5, the newest racing game from Codemasters. Originally, this game had a trophy where you needed to drive 10,000 miles, but the trophy requirement was reduced to just 1,000 miles, meaning the completion time and grind was reduced significantly. Now the completion time is around about 30 hours, with 2 out of 10 for difficulty, but it's certainly no drag. Swinging into our fourth game, Spider-Man Remastered. There are plenty of guides on the web, but you can earn the Platinum in 25 to 30 hours and 3 out of 10 difficulty. But if you have done the PS4 version already, you can auto-pop the trophies on the PS5 version. This game also has three DLC packs, which take roughly 3 hours each and are 2 to 3 out of 10 for difficulty. Staying in the Big Apple, Spider-Man Miles Morales is the fifth game on this list. Miles Morales is shorter and unlike the original, it doesn't have DLC. Completion time for this game is 15 to 20 hours and 2 out of 10 difficulty. Like the original, you can also auto-pop the PS5 trophies if you've done the PS4 version. Next up is a trip down memory lane, thanks to Astro's Playroom. An easy platinum that takes 4 to 5 hours, 2 out of 10 difficulty, and is a fully interactive lesson in the history of PlayStation, from PS1 to PS5 and everything in between. If you own a PS5, this is one game you really must play, and best of all, it's free. Flossing its way onto the list is Fortnite. You might be wondering how this is an easy platinum at all, but if you have Harry Potter yourself into spending hundreds of hours playing Save the World on PS4, you can go ahead and auto-pop the trophies on PS5. Otherwise, you'll be looking at a 3 out of 10 difficulty and 1000 hours completion time. So, straight as an arrow to the next game, which is called The Pathless, a mythical adventure game in which you play as an archer who has an eagle companion and must save the world from darkness. This rather enchanting little game is 2 out of 10 difficulty and 16 to 20 hours completion time. Hacking its way onto the list is Watch Dogs Legion, which is the third game in this series and also the easiest to platinum, despite some slightly buggy trophies during the time of release. This game is a 2 out of 10 for difficulty and around 30 to 40 hours completion time. Not bad at all for a London life simulator with elderly people as spies. Finally, we come to the last game of the list, which is Werewolf, which takes 10 to 12 hours and is of 2 out of 10 difficulty. Plenty of bark and plenty of bite, with an easy trophy list and plenty of stealth elements, perfect for ninja wannabes to sink their teeth and claws into. So, that marks the end of our 10 easy PS5 Platinums. Do you have any of these Platinums already? 
Let me know in the comments and be sure to like this video and subscribe as a part two video will be coming very soon. So keep an eye out for that too. Until my next video, take care and goodbye. Thank you.